Yeah, quarantine was okay, actually. We obviously got the welcome surprise a few days in that was going to be seven days rather than ten, which mentally, I think, made it a little bit easier. And we were allowed to do a few little bits in the yard, a bit of, bit of running and stuff. So, um, albeit never enjoyable, it was actually completely manageable. And we've had a week down in Queenstown, which has actually been lovely. A um, little bit of chance to to switch off, to do a few outdoorsy things away from cricket, get a bit of headspace and then have a couple of training sessions down there and, and regroup and obviously try and refocus following the Ashes. Yeah, it is. Um, I think it's pretty obvious. It, we haven't quite nailed that spot yet, I think, um, but that's sometimes how it goes in cricket. Sometimes uh, things happen and, and you don't quite have the perfect lead up to the tournament that you want, but um, we've had conversations about that and obviously the two Warwick games will be a chance for whoever we decide to go with to, to try and cement their spot and, and really get some form going into the tournament. Um, and yeah, obviously in terms of the side, getting the, the balance is, is always going to be, be key. Um, we've, we've played around a little bit with seven batters and five bowlers or, or six, six batters and the extra bowler. So um, being really clear on, on when we want to use the different balances of the side on, on different wickets throughout the tournament, I think um, is a, it's something we want to get ticked off and, and sort of really clear in our mind as a selection committee how we're going to use that throughout the tournament. And the manager down for a net tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we're going to run them off against each other to, to see what ranking they're in. Um, so, yeah, mainly humour. I think, obviously, it's if something goes badly wrong with COVID. Uh, it's not a ideal situation, but it's obviously been picked up in the, in the playing conditions. Um, hopefully, it, it never happens. Um, but you never know. And obviously... People are desperate to get the tournament on and with the the rules around close contract contacts, etc. Um, there might be a scenario where it does happen. Um, it's probably unlikely it's going to be a COVID free World Cup, although obviously that's the hope. Um, and I guess it's in place if, if something does go wrong and hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, it was one of the, the best five, six weeks of my my life for sure. It's a amazing competition and we were chatting about it the other day actually and remembering how imperfect it was as well and, and how you have the the highs and the lows of a, of a competition and how you almost forget that because obviously we won the competition and you look back and think it was all plain sailing and, and it completely wasn't so it's quite it's quite a nice reminder to look back and I guess that we're gonna have to ride the highs and the lows of the competition and that's almost the brilliance of being in a world cup um of the different things that surround it the the different countries you have to face the the travel um preparing for different teams all the time and the ebbs and flows of, of the tournament and trying to obviously peak towards the back end of the group stages and, and trying to make the finals. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to, to get going again with the World Cup. Um, it feels like a long time, obviously, with the delay from last year. So we can't think too much about the final, though. I guess at the moment we, we, we need to, to start the group stage as well. And the thing with the World Cup, it's, it's one game at a time. You have to stay in your little bubble and and try and compete but um yeah certainly excited to to see if we can go back to back well so the, the format that you have to beat everyone to to be successful not beat everyone but obviously play against everyone and be in the the top four to make those semi-finals so um i don't think it matters too much the the order that we we play the teams in um obviously we've got australia first and and it's clear we've got a bit of a point to prove as a side and um yeah, I think this is the a really pure form of the game, isn't it? Having to play against every team to to make it to that top four and, and make it to the semi-finals, which is obviously going to be our goal going into the competition. Probably lacked that that killer instinct a little bit, um, but one game in the World Cup, one hundred percent believe we can beat them. And um, tournament cricket is all about getting to those semi-finals, and and then anything can happen from there. And, and trying to um, bring your your best cricket on the day is is really important, but. Yeah, I'd like, I don't read into too much the the talk of the favourites and, and things like that. Um, we're just going to go about our business as a team and, and try and um, build momentum and, and really play the cricket that we know we're capable of.